Good evening, Daniel. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome. Edgar, good evening. Good evening, Aidan. Well, we're, we're going to wait a little bit. And da Daniel, do you have something new for the for a class tonight? Something that you have learned lately in English? In English? Como es la pregunta? Uh, did you learn a quote, a motivational quote, an expression? Ah, no, I no repasé. I don't. No. I don't. I don't. <laughs> you, di you didn't. Okay. Okay, Daniel. Okay, Aidan, can you listen to me, Edgar? Present teacher. Excellent. Excellent. Present teacher. Excellent, Edgar. Okay. Now, Estoy good, good to see you in the class. Estoy todavía en la oficina. Oh, all right. Sí, eh, estaré llegando más nochecito a la casa. Me ah, un poco. Okay, Aidan, I will check the list of attendance so that I don't forget. Let me Gracias. see. Okay. Hey, hey, Daniel, what day is today? What's the day today? What? What is the date today? Ay, okay. Quiero ver es... Fifth July 2023. Ay, it's... <laughs> uh, July the 5th. July the... The 5th. The 5th. July the 5th. 2023. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us wait a little bit for the red. Okay, it's 8 o'clock. I hope everybody will gather soon so that we can start with the class tonight. So Maribel is over here. That's good. Maribel, 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 Maribel. Edgar is over here also, right? Good evening, Maribel. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Okay, good to see you. Now I can see also Vera Liz is right here. Good evening, Vera Liz. Let me see. Two, four, two, four, five, six people, right? It seems as if the first I saw a couple of messages in the WhatsApp group. Some people are just commuting, commuting to their homes or getting back home from their from their job. So well, I will wait like a couple of minutes uh, in order to start with the activities I have prepared tonight for tonight. Uh, I you saw that you saw the the message about what's happening on Friday, right? Ah, uh, yes, I see. Yeah. yeah, on Friday, we're not having any class, right? So we're going to continue with the class on Monday. Tendremos más tiempo. Veralida, you are lucky. You're lucky. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Hey, Gladys is right here. Hello, Gladys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Gladys. Can you listen to me? Good 
Good evening, teacher. Okay, good to see you here in the class. Uh, let me see. We're going to start. Okay. Let me see how many people do I have now. Yeah, Oscar is over here. Edgar, but I, okay, well, I will check list attendance. Then you tell me present. Okay. It's, if you're here. Aidan, I know he, he's over here and I know he's very busy at the office. Belen? Claudia Veronica? Daniel? Present teacher. Okay. Maribel? Edgar Edilson. Gladys. Present teacher. Okay. Jonathan Josue. Maria Elba. Mario Cristobal. Verenice. Michael. Noe Aníbal. Norma Xiomara. Uh, Norma Xiomara. Good to know that you're here. Uh, Oscar Antonio. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Ronan. Teresa. I know Teresa will be as a listener to I don't know if Teresa is over here. Let me see. No, she's not over here. Well, we're going to start. Okay, we're, um, we're going to start. Michael is just getting into the class. Hey, Michael. Yes. Good evening, Michael. Good evening, teacher. It's very PM. <laughs> Well, we're going to start. I hope that that you are okay. And to, I don't know. Today seems to be a, 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 a. It seems as if you had a, a really hard day tonight, today. But hopefully, you are going to have the energy, the motivation to work in the English class tonight. Okay. So we're gonna go directly to that to the activities because you know at the end of the class you are gonna be given like twenty to twenty five minutes so you can work in the groups right? So Teresa just came. Okay, very good. It's getting better. Well, I will check list attendance at the end. Second time, right? Okay. Well, welcome back. I will start by sharing this part in the platform as we usually do it, okay? Yesterday we were working in well, actually, we were like discussing uh, on the comparison of simple present. This was the topic, right? Simple present versus present continuous. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. And over here is the exercise number 12. Okay, so we're going to solve it. And well, little by little, I will try to introduce the topic for tonight. The topic for tonight is about a double H question with present continuous, okay? So I have this sentence and we have two options, right? So she's drinking coffee with her boss tomorrow. What, what is that tense? Tense, simple present or present continuous? Present, present continuous. continuous. Present continuous. I like driving to work, simple present or present continuous? Present continuous. Present simple present. Someone Profe. says present. Ah? Profe, me equivoqué en simple esa. Por, porque supuestamente si, si, si no le quiere agregar la to a like, se agregaría ahí en G. Según, según busqué, por eso es que me equivoqué ahí. 
Yeah, maybe what makes you get confused in this exercise is the ing form, right? Mm -hmm. But actually, before having the ing form, you need to have the verb to be. So if you don't have the verb to be, that is not present continue. This is not the verb to be. This is the verb like. Like. Okay. So yeah. This is the verb like. So if 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 it were present continue over here, we may we may have like I am driving you or uh, or you are driving or he's driving or etc. Right. So, but we don't have the verb be over here, so that is not the present continuous people. That is Daniel. I think you you have it right. It's but, simple present. Simple present, all right. Now, my sister loves playing chess. So it's the same story, right? ING. So, but what is the tense, people? It's simple present, too. Yeah, it's simple present. Okay, so uh, they are swimming now. They are swimming yeah. now. Tense. Present continuous. Present continuous. What are you doing? Simple present. Simple present? No, so, present continuous. Present continuous. Okay. Present continuous. We will see, right? So, hey, I think we're going to clarify something about these exercises tonight. It is a you say present continuous, right? Oh, and that's it, right? So we're gonna check it. We're gonna see about the statements that we have correct. And uh, maybe you have some questions over here, right? As far as I as, as far as I notice, uh you have some questions over here. Now, what makes you think that this is present continuous people? ¿Qué les indica a ustedes que esto es presente continuo? Lleva el verbo to be. Okay. Cheese. Cheese. Subject. Subject. Ma, plus. Verb to be. Plus. Plus what? Yeah. Plus a verb. An e. e. Yeah. I N G, right? And I N G verb. Okay, so if you have these three parts, then this is present continuous. Okay. Now I know that, that you may you you face some problems with Michael, you had some problems with with, with this one, right? Yes or no? What do we have here? We have subject, verb, another verb, but not the but, but not the verb to be. And maybe it's because you can say I like driving and I like to drive. Okay, I like driving, I like to drive. You can you can say it both ways. Okay, hay uno verbos como el verbo like, en donde usted va a poder usar. ING o el infinitivo. ¿Se acuerdan del infinitivo? Que yo les decía, el infinitivo de driving sería to drive. To drive. Ah, entonces con este verbo podemos usar esta forma, to drive, o ING. I like driving, I like to drive. ¿Ok? Ahorita dejémoslo no. así porque eso lo van a ver, ahí como por intermedio lo van a ver. Ok, pero si sí, hay algunos verbos que pueden tomar ambos. I like driving, I like to drive. Ok, pero eso no quiere decir que es presente continuo, no. Now, my sister loves playing. So this is another one, right? Loves. Oh. Ese es otro verbo, miren, que toma eh, una forma verbal en ING. Ok, my sister loves to play chess. My sister loves playing chess they are swimming now now yes this one right present continuous they are swimming and you have the time expression now, now. or yeah 
What are you doing? What? The verb to be, the subject, and another very 94. What are you doing? What are you seeing? What are you uh, studying, etc. Okay, so well, I will try to introduce the the topic, okay, little by little. This is was an, a, the exercise about um, this one, right? Simple present versus pre present continuous. So what's coming tonight? What is coming tonight? Tonight, we're gonna work a little bit on present continuous double H questions, okay? So we're going to continue with present uh, progressive or present continuous, but we're going to include double H question words, okay? But before getting to that part, you know, I really love to have some review before um, going to the main topic of tonight. And uh, well, I have a uh, one conversation over here. Okay. I think everybody has a perfect, perfect schedule, right? So what do you remember about this, people? What day is this one? Sunday. Uh-huh. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. Friday. Friday. Saturday. 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 First. Third. Second. Second. Third. Third. Fourth. Fourth. Eighteen. Eighteen. Twenty, twenty, twenty third. Twenty third. Twenty third. Mm. Thirty first. Thirty first. Okay, so now the. Let me see. Uh, the 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 topic of this conversation is about is the perfect schedule. Okay, so we're gonna go over a vocabulary. So we're gonna read some a vocabulary. We're gonna try to learn them. We're going to listen to. We're gonna see the script. We're gonna listen to the audio, and then we're gonna try to solve a quiz. Okay. Later on, we're going to get back to. To what really matters tonight, that's about present continuous and double H question words. Okay, so I have this. So sign me up. New expression, okay? Sign me up. Get concentrated because this is vocabulary that will be useful whenever we listen to the conversation. Listen. Sign me up. Wow, sign me up. We say this phrase, sign me up, when we hear about a good situation or opportunity. Notice the following. Notice the following. At my university, we do not have to do homework. Wow, sign me up. <laughs> now, I hope that you got it, right? So do me the favor to work in the vocabulary, okay? Now, if you if you don't give if you still have some problems uh, getting the me the meaning of the expression, look for the expression in the web and get your own close glossary. Okay, sign me up. We say the phrase sign me up when you hear about a good situation or opportunity. Notice the following: I might at my university we do not have to do homework. Wow, sign me up. Second expression chunk listen to it carefully chunk i have a good chunk of that day to do other things a chunk is a large block or piece of something notice the following i spent a chunk of money at the casino he ate a chunk of chocolate chunk okay i have a good chunk chunk okay so if you don't if you if you don't get it, try to get the ma the meaning in Spanish in, in Google, okay? Get it behind me or get it behind me. Get it behind me. I try to get it behind me as soon as possible. When you get something behind you, you finish it so you do not have to think about it anymore. Notice the following. 
If you do not love someone, it is best to break up with them and get it behind you. I tried to exercise early and get it behind me. All right. So that's uh, to get behind me. Okay. Get it behind me. Get it behind me. Now, depressed. 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 I get depressed and start arguing. When you are depressed, you do not feel happy or excited to do anything. Notice the following. 1. I get depressed on rainy days. 2. She easily gets depressed in winter. You know, get depressed is very similar to the, to the word in Spanish, right? Okay, to get depressed. Going out. Going out. On the weekend, we like going out. Here, going out means to meet friends and be social. Notice the following. We are going out this weekend. Want to come? Are you guys going out tomorrow? All right. Are we going or we are going out this weekend? Want to come? Are you guys going out tomorrow? So... Going out means to meet friends, to meet friends and be social. Okay, that's to, that's the expression going out. Restless. Restless. I get pretty restless myself too. When you are restless, you want to go out and do something. Notice the following. Children get restless in class and want to go outside. I get restless on long plane flights. I get restless uh, on long plane flights. All right, restless. So try to get your own vocabulary, please. Okay, try to try to get your own vocabulary. Now, this does takes a big of my time. What that? Sign me up, chunk, get it behind, depressed, going now, or restless. Now listen carefully. You're gonna help me. I know that you that you look for these expressions in Spanish, right? So where do you sign me up, people? Sign me up. Inscribirse. Okay. Inscribir. Yeah, but but <laughs> but you say that when, when you when you listen to good news, right? Hey, you know, yeah. hey, on Friday we're not having classes. And we're not going to be working in the activity the teacher has assigned. Wow, sign me up. What about Chunk? Chong. Chunk. Chong, no. Chong is different. Chunk. <laughs> Chunk. Chunk. Yeah. So be careful, pedazo. Daniel. Chong, pedazo. Chunk. Okay. Yeah, all right, pretty good. Now you got it like that. Get it behind me. Get it behind me. This is a key, right? So you finish it. You finish it so you do not have to think about it anymore. That is to get it behind you. Eh, detrás de mí o atrás de mí. Okay. So, but, but you, you need to be clear when to use this, right? To get it behind you. Now, depressed. Depressed. Hey, what, what about this guy? How do you see this guy? He's depressed, right? Depresión. Depression. <laughs> yeah, but depressed is the person, I mean. Depressed. Okay. Going out. What's the meaning, people? Going, Going out. out. Salir. Pasear. Yeah. All right. Restless. Restless. 
Sorry? Inquieto. 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 Okay. And that's it. Now, yes, right. So this task takes a big of my time. What is it? Takes a big what? Takes a big what? This is a big what? Chunk. Oh, chunk. I feel after sitting on my desk all day. I feel after sitting on my desk all day. Uh-huh. I feel how how does person feel? Depressed, going now, restless, behind, get it behind, chunk, sign, sign me up. Depressed. I feel depressed. Depressed. Well, we will not try with depressed. Uh, okay? Rest restless. Restless or depressed? Well, we're gonna we're gonna try with depressed. Okay, we will see later. We're gonna see if it, if it if it it was the most suitable option. Are you tonight? Are you going out? Excellent. Tonight? Are you going out tonight? Are you going out tonight? When I have homework, I try to me so I'm free later. Restless. Restless. Read carefully. When I when I have homework, I try to meet so I'm free later. What is that expression? Restless? You wanna try with restless? Going out. Going now, when I have homework, I try to go to, to going. No, it cannot be to going. Get it behind me. Ah, get it behind. Get it behind. behind. Yeah, get it behind me. Okay, let's see if it if this is the best option. I try to get it behind me, okay? Uh, number five, he was after he lost his job. Depressed. Ah, so it means that this yeah. was over here, right? So maybe this is the most suitable. He was <laughs> depressed after he lost his job. No. So number two, what is the best option for number two then? Restless. And okay, we will try with restless. restless. And the last one, what a great deal. Sign me up. Sign me up. <laughs> Sign me up. Sure. <laughs> you know, I think we're going to do it now. We will check the answer. Okay, the <laughs> first one. Hey, we committed one mistake. Right. So what's the mistake? Chunk. Chunk. But what, what's the problem with chunk? This just takes me takes a big chunk of my but I think this is all right. So what happened then? Yeah, I think this is this is okay. Chunk chunk. It's all right, people. Don't worry. Because it's all right. Okay, it's okay, don't worry, but it's okay. So we got a thing over here. We got a 10, don't worry, it's, it's a chunk. Okay, now, uh, as quickly as possible, we're gonna go over the, 
the audio, okay, the conversation is a little bit long. Actually, I will share it with you, okay, because um, it has a lot of vocabulary, okay. It's related to the topics that we have been studying lately. Uh, well, I will share this link in the in the chat, and also I will share it in the WhatsApp group. so that you can go over it later on. Well, I will share it with you later, don't worry. Do not worry. Well, it's better if you pay special attention to this. Okay, I will share it to you later, don't worry. Okay, so very quickly, we're gonna listen to it you are gonna get some expressions, okay? And then we're gonna finish, okay? So it will be like that. Because actually we took like 30 minutes of this exercise. So here we go. So I was thinking about my, my current job. Mm -hmm. And I think like my work schedule is, is so good. Yeah. I work Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Then I have a day off. Mm -hmm. Then I work Thursday and Friday. And then I have the weekend off. And I get five months holiday a year. Wow, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what's a good work schedule for you? I think what you've just described sounds really good as well. When I was younger, actually, I don't know where this idea came from, but my ideal work hours were 9 till 2. Okay. Not 9 till 5, like you usually mm -hmm. hear in a lot of Western countries, but 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Right. I don't know. So maybe for me, if I could do it, if I could find something like that, mm -hmm. it would be really good. Because you can sleep in until maybe 7 or 8, yeah. <laughs> go to work, finish at 2, still come back and have a good chunk of yeah. that day to do other things. So. Yeah, so my previous job was quite – I started at 9.30 mm -hmm. and I finished at 12.30. Oh. I worked five days a week, mm -hmm. but it was great because work was finished by lunchtime. Wow. The whole day free. Mm-hmm. That was a good job. And you still got a full-time salary? And that was a full-time salary. Wow. Yeah. Sounds even better than this one, yeah. maybe. In the past, I've, I mean, I've worked in restaurants where you work only in the evenings. All right. So I'd start, I'd start at 5.30 and work until around midnight. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that as much because all day I was thinking, I've got to go to work later. Mm -hmm. So I think I prefer working in the morning and get it behind me as soon as possible. I think maybe I'm the same way as well. Mm -hmm. I prefer to get it done and then have the rest of the day to enjoy. Also, I had a job where I was working uh, during the week and weekend. Mm -hmm. And I would have Mondays and Tuesdays off. Right. And I didn't really like that. I missed uh, seeing friends yeah. on the weekend and yeah. going out. So I don't think I would like anything like that. Mm -hmm. How about not working? Do you think? How long do you think you could go without not having to work? Well, it's funny because this job now, I have really long vacations, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm not happy when I'm not working. <laughs> like, my wife gets very frustrated with me because mm -hmm. if I have nothing to do, I tend to be a bit annoying around the house, okay. just getting depressed mm -hmm. and just arguing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't need much work. Like if I could just do like an hour a day, I okay. think that would be enough. <laughs> <laughs> make me happy. Okay. How long could you go, would you say? A week or two without having to touch work? I, I could probably go a couple of months. <laughs> okay, without having to work at all? Yeah, if, if I had the other things to do. All right. You know, so if I had other projects, like if I was doing a lot of training for running or if I was studying, if I, I had, a, you know, a good book, I, see. Then I could probably go quite a long time. Yeah. I get pretty restless myself too. Mm -hmm. I think after three, four days of not having anything to do, I, I just want to, I really need something. Maybe, right. like you said, study yeah. or learn or go out and do something. Have a project, have mm -hmm. a goal. I think, yeah, my personality type is need to constantly do right. something. Yeah. Produce, produce, yeah. Yeah, when I worked in Europe, I used to do, I used to teach for one or two weeks intensively mm -hmm. and then have three or four weeks off. Oh, wow. And it was, it was quite nice because I had lots of free time. But yeah, after two or three weeks of free time, I was quite looking forward to the next block, the next block of teaching. Mm -hmm. But teaching these intensive blocks can be quite, it can be quite tough as well. Like right. after, 
I, I did a six week block in Russia once. And after three weeks, I just wanted to go home. <laughs> <laughs> six weeks was too long. Wow. How intensive was it? Well, the job in Russia was really intensive because we, I was living with the students in a, in a residential university. Mm -hmm. And so we had breakfast together. And then I taught them from half past eight in the morning till half past six in the evening. Wow. We had lunch together. And then we had dinner together in the evening. Wow. And there was one bar on the, <laughs> in the university. And we all went to the same bar in the evening as well. And you had the same group of students? The same group of students. For six for weeks. Six weeks. And it was six days a week of teaching. Wow. I can, if you, the teacher, felt like that, I can only imagine how the students must have felt. They mm. must have wanted a break. Yeah, we all, we all wanted a break. <laughs> all right. A little bit long, right? So let us see what you remember. Okay, so, well, let me see. It's been... We're going to go over the quiz quickly. Okay, so just tell me if you remember. Don't worry. If we, if we don't get the 10, actually, you are going to have the link so that you can solve it later. When does he, he when does he have a day off? Monday, Wednesday, or Thursday? When does he have a day off? Monday. Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday. What were her ideal work hours? Nine to five, nine to two, or two to nine? Tell me one option. The one you remember. Nine to two. Nine to two. What time did he start work at his last job? He started work. Nine thirty. Nine thirty. Number four. When does he prefer to work? Mornings, evenings, or weekends? Mornings. In the morning. In the morning. What, what do you dislike about teaching in Russia? Low pay, low hours, early morning classes. Low pay, long hours, early morning classes. Tell me one option, please. Long hours. Long hours. Let's see. We're going to check. We're going to see how many good ones did we get. Pretty good. Two, three, four, Five, all of them. Wow, we got a 10. <laughs> Actually, you got a 10. That was fantastic, okay? Back now, you. Qu question, question. How was the co how was the activity? ¿Cómo estuvo esta actividad? Difícil? ¿Qué tal la conversación? Super larga? Large. <laughs> okay. Ahora vamos a, to vamos a tomar ventaja de esto. Miren, aquí hay, hay temas que ustedes quizás lo vieron en básico, pero así como todavía falta que lo, que lo vuelvan a estudiar, que es el pasado simple. Pero aquí en, esto, en toda esta conversación hay, uh, están los temas que nosotros hemos estudiado. ¿okay? Por eso la elegí. ¿okay? Por eso elegí esta conversación. Inclusive más. Entonces, este... Manténganse estudiando esta conversación. El día de mañana yo voy a pedir que me la lean, ¿ok? Ok. Now, let's, let's continue. 
just try to continue, okay? Now when it happens, yesterday, well, yesterday you, you were in charge of working in this part, right? Okay, I will ask one by one. Michael, what are the activities you usually do on Mondays, Michael? Uh, checking reports, uh, covering products, having lunch on my free time, filling okay. documents, checking products of export, I check in containers. Excellent, Michael. Pretty good. Okay, what about what about you? Uh, let's see, Aníbal, what about you? Good night, teacher. Good evening. Uh, well, call uh, and get ready uh, six, uh, 30 a.m. Okay. Uh, my, my wife is uh, making breakfast. Uh, I'm going to, to work. Uh, I have a meeting with my college. Uh, at 12, uh, we're we going out for lunch. Great. Pretty good, Aníbal. Okay. Maribel, what can you tell us about Mondays? Hey, people say that Mondays are very difficult. Do you think so? Do you think do you think Mondays are difficult, people? Hello, hello. No. No. Mondays are not difficult. Yes, teacher. Yes, 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 they, yes they are, right? <laughs> yeah, everybody uh, complains. You know, complain, right? When uh, when when um getting up on morning on, on Mondays at a very early time. Okay, so let me see, what, two people more and then we will continue. Uh, Aidan is not available now, very nice. Tell us about some activities you usually do on Monday's morning. Well, because it's my day off and just make uh, the breakfast for my son and I we got out for the the way the, the school was and I come in my house I sleeping a little more <laughs> so Mondays are not that difficult for you no it's my not, day off yeah not at all right so Belen what can you tell us about Monday's morning Well, maybe, maybe she's, she's facing some problems, okay? So, Vera Liz, what about you? Well, Mondays are difficult. Okay, not for everybody, but for the majority of people, Mondays are difficult. Okay, so excellent job. So we are having some review about present simple. And yesterday, uh, well, yesterday we were comparing both both tenses, right? Present continuous, simple present. And now here we have a, a conversation. Okay, so I need two people to read it. I need two people, two volunteers. Thank you, Vera Liz. And thank you, Vera Nice. So, uh, 
Vera Liz, you start. Okay. Hello, Mary. What well, are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I, I am doing this week. For example, I am sending some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I'm talking to college and check it reports. And who is analyzing the advance in the company? Peter is. Peter is. All right. Now, listen carefully. Uh, what is this? Do you remember what? how? It's yeah. a W question. W it's question. a double H question, right? What is this? B. To be. Never to be. Uh, what is this? Present continuous. Present, Present continuous. So this is the topic for tonight, people. Okay. Question, question, double H question with present continue. Do we have another one? What about this one? Who is analyzing the advances? Yes or no? Double H question with present continue. Is that right? Is that right? Yes, right? So this is what we are we are talking tonight, okay? So as you could as you could uh, listen to the ladies, okay? Uh, they 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 are read the conversation, and over here we can see, or we we can notice that we have present continuous, uh, interrogative form, but by using double H question words, okay? So this is this is the topic. Now, for example, what are some activities Mary is doing this week? What are some of the, some of the activities Mary is doing this week? Hello? There are many things. Yeah, there are many things she is doing, but for example, sending emails. She's she's sending emails. She's sending emails. Signing some payrolls. And signing payroll. some payrolls. Payroll. All right. Very good. Are you doing some of these activities described above? Hey, now this is a question for the group. Hey, what are some of the activities you are doing this week? Okay, we'll, I will I will ask different people. Oscar. Oscar, tell us about some activities you are doing this week. Oscar, Oscar. Oscar. Activities you are doing this week. Are you doing some activities this week? What are you doing this week? You may say, for example, uh, in my case, I'm teaching English. I'm, I'm visiting my family. I am uh, going to school. I am uh, working hard. This is what I'm doing this week. What about you? I am taking the bus. What about you? What are you doing this week, people? Usually I check the personal in my work. Okay. Now, but, but listen carefully. When you are asked, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's because this is a question. What are you doing this week? So what is the tense? What are you doing this week? What 
are you sorry, you doing this week? What are you doing this week? Now, see, that is future. Is that future people? Yes or no? What are you doing this week? This week, no, no, it's future. It's not future? What are you doing this week? Now, who answered this question? So if you have a, a present continuous, try to use present continuous, right? So what are you doing tonight? Uh, well, I am studying English. I'm having my English course at eight o'clock. I am uh, having lunch at uh, or, or I'm, I'm I'm having dinner after after the class, or you you can say something, right? So, but try to use present continuous. Now, different differently. If I ask, hey, what what do you do? What do you usually do? O, oigan bien, por eso estamos haciendo la comparación, verdad? Ayer hicimos la comparación de los dos tiempos. Si le pregunto, hey, what are you doing this week? Estoy usando presente continuo. Ok, entonces contestemos con presente continuo. Porque la pregunta puede ser en español, ¿qué es lo que vas a hacer esta semana? What are you doing this week? Ok, so I'm washing the car on Tuesday. I'm uh, seeing the parade that's coming on Friday, etc. Right? So, but try to use present continuo. Si la pregunta fuera, por ejemplo, let me see. Usually, uh, okay, Maribel, I go to school, drop off my children. Okay. Now, differently if from this one. Fíjense bien, porque ayer hicimos, ayer hicimos la comparación de los dos tiempos. Es, es para que aprendamos a identificarlos y a usarlos. Okay. So, what are you doing this week? What do you do? What? Now, is, is it is it a different question? Es diferente esta pregunta. Son diferentes. What are you doing this week? What do you usually do during this week? Or during the week? This one is present simple. This one is present simple. Present simple. Esta está en presente simple y esta está en presente progresivo. Ok. Entonces, si me preguntan con esta, entonces ya sé que tengo que usar presente progresivo en mis respuestas. Si me preguntan con esta, debo de usar presente simple en mis respuestas. Ok. Is that clear, people? Hello, hello? Is it clear? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna try later, okay? Don't worry, because we have a lot of time to, to still work on that. Okay, now. Solo una pregunta. Tell eh, me. Cuando se trabaja el ING eh, para que sea en futuro, Se tendría que ser un futuro que sea cercano. Exactly. That's what okay. we studied yesterday, right? Yeah. Okay. The... Okay. Now, over here, some time for you to practice. Un poco de ejercicio. Acaban a completar. Esta, esta actividad, pero de acuerdo a su propia, a su propia realidad en el trabajo. ¿verdad? Fill in the blanks with the events you have at your workplace. ¿Ok? ¿Qué, van a usar, okay? 
qué tiempo van a utilizar cuando, cuando uh, nos expliquen esto? Pues vamos a utilizar presente progresivo. ¿Ok? Fill in the blank with the event you have at workplace. En realidad, cuando, bueno, lo, lo completan con las actividades, pero cuando lo expliquen, pueden utilizar ambos, de acuerdo a la idea que usted quiera decirnos, ¿verdad? Ok, por ejemplo, usted puede decir, bueno, yo usualmente envío correos los días martes, así que uh, la otra semana, y ahí usan presente continuo. I'm sending emails on Tuesday. Ok, pueden utilizar amba, ambos tiempos en su explicación, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? Teniendo, teniendo claridad en las ideas, ¿ok? Teniendo claridad en las ideas. So, pues we're going to spend like five minutes, five minutes for you to get ready. Cinco minutos, luego pregunto. De ahí voy a desplegar una, una, una PowerPoint para aclarar algunas cosas. Eh, hacemos un par de ejercicios y este, aclaramos dudas. Y si no hay más, pues vamos a trabajar en grupos luego. ¿Ok? So, five minutes, people.
Okay, are you ready? Hello, hello. Are you ready? Well, I will try asking some people, okay? Daniel, what did you get from this chart? Okay. For example, uh, starting work before at AIM, answering the phone, going to the meeting, entering the purchase, reviewing import, printing sales report, and sending it to my boss. Okay. Now, can, can you include grammar to your to your to uh to your statements? Le puede incluir gramática a, 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 a las oraciones, Daniel? Mm. Porque acá, va, por ejemplo, acá digo signing peer play payrolls. Uh, acá no tengo todavía una oración. Esto no es una oración, ok, solo una frase. ¿Qué debería yo de hacer para, para que ya tuviéramos oraciones completas? A okay, utilizar. Subject, eh. Ok, subject. And the verb to be, right? I am signing payrolls on, on Mondays, next Monday. I am sending emails. Uh, I am analyzing the advances. And I am uh, working really hard this week. Uh, ok, ahí ya tenemos oraciones completas. Okay, Daniel. Okay. Uh... Okay, we want to try with somebody else. Michael. Uh, the customer sending emails to my boss. Okay. I'm checking your re reports this week. They are following duty pros. I'm having lunch in my free time. We are filling documents in the afternoon. My boss and I are checking products of exports. Uh, I'm checking container tomorrow. Excellent. Pretty good. Okay, now complete statements, right? Excellent. Okay, very good. Now, a, a, a volunteer? Volunteer want to share what he or she is doing this week? No volunteers. There are no volunteers. Well, let me see. I don't know. Okay, let's try with Cristobal. Okay, Cristobal, let us know about what you're doing this week. Hello, teacher. Este, por el momento tengo, no sé si es la, la internet o qué, pero me está sacando y se corta su conversación y después regresa. Oh, is it happening to everybody? ¿Le está sucediendo a todos? Sí, a todos. ¿A todos? No se me escucha bien. Es que se corta. Entre cortado se escucha, Ticho. Wow. Tenemos problemas técnicos con internet. Bien, ¿Usted se escucha bien? Sí, sí no tengo dificultad. Ah, ok. Yo también, yo sí lo escucho bien. 
Bueno, lo por que... rato se escucha bien y por rato se escucha cortado y me saca del, de la aplicación. Ya me ah. ha sacado como seis veces ya. Entonces hay dificultades <risa> con conexión, pero sí, las personas que les sucede eso, recuérdense que pueden volver a ver el, el video y, y repasar qué es, lo que, qué es lo que dijimos en esta parte. Sí, pero mandé el, audio, el mensaje yo al grupo de que no me sacaba. Ah, ok. Ok, well, we're going to try to continue. Don't worry. Okay, we have a lot of, a lot of work to do. Ok. So, well, there's a reading over here. We're going to do it later. Actually, you are going to do it by your own. Ok. Uh, well, I, this, this, was, this is very, very interesting because it's about the Naril call where there are some activities to keep employees happy. And this is very important for me, right? So the, the, it is supposed to have a discussion on the sentences below, okay? And to see if they're true or false, but you are going to do it by your own, okay? Before going to this activity, we're going to see some extra information. Oh, I'm sorry, Aníbal, I'm sorry. It's, maybe it's raining in some places. I don't know, but there is a problem with the internet tonight. Well, I will stop sharing this and then we're gonna go uh, a little bit deeply with the uh, double H questions and present continuous tonight. Give me a second. Yeah, this is the one. All right, so I hope you can see it. I got this, this, um, this presentation, and there are some, there, there's some important info in here. Now, what is the topic, people? We are discussing tonight. Affirmative form present continuous. Uh, okay, we have been studying affirmative statements of present continuous. Also, negative statements. We studied interrogative statements. And today, we're going to continue with interrogative statements, but with double H question words, OK? Now, as you remember, present continuous, we have affirmative statements. In the affirmative statements, we have the verb to be and another verb in ing form. I am walking, she is talking, he is laughing, it is raining, they are singing, we are cooking, you are smiling. Okay, so present continuous, positive statements or affirmative statements. We also have negative statements and the only thing we, we need to do is, in, is to include the word not. I am not walking, he, she is not talking, He's not laughing, it's not raining, they are not singing, they are not cooking, and they are not smiling. And we also have questions, right? But these questions are yes or no questions, okay? The very to be is at the beginning, am I walking, am I walking? Is she talking? Is he laughing? Is it raining? Are they signing and uh, singing, right? right? Are we cooking and are you smiling? Okay, so we have the three, the, the three forms, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. So remember that we're gonna focus on our, our um, class in uh, creating uh, double H questions, okay? So for example, what is the verb? What is this verb? Run. 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 Okay. The very the verb is run. What is the sentence, people? He is running. He or is he running. a boy, he right? Is he is running. running. Contractive form, he is running. He's running. Yeah, and notice about this verb. 
Fíjense bien en este, en este, en, en este verbo, mira. Double N. Ok, siempre que tengamos un verbo como consonante, vocal consonante, vamos a duplicar la última consonante y le vamos a agregar ING. Ok, como el verbo run, como el verbo cut, cut de cortar. Ok, um, so he's running. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Yes, no question. Yes, no question. Is he running? Is he running? Ok, double H question. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta abierta? Is he running? Mm, ok, is he running? Esa es pregunta cerrada. Is, is he running? Contestamos yes he is or no he is. Ok. Pero si yo pregunto, ¿quiere saber otra cosa aparte de que si él está corriendo o no? Uh, ¿Cómo lo haríamos? What is... What is he running? What is... I will, I will, I will take some of your, your examples, ¿ok? What is... Is what is he doing? doing. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo él? Hey, what is he doing? Okay, so that would be one. ¿Qué otra cosa pudiéramos preguntar acerca de eso? When? When is ajá, what, when what? When what? When is when is he run? When is he running? Okay. Uh, is there another question? Podríamos crear otra pregunta. When is he running? What? Oh, oh. Le incluye un okay. Who is running? Who's running? Hey, that's a good one, right? Hey, who is running? Who's running? Good. Aha, uh -huh. any other one? Why? Why is he running? Why is he running? Yeah, why? He stole a wallet. <laughs> why is he running? So we don't know why. Okay, so we can create many questions, right? Many questions by seeing one expression. So as you could, as you can notice so in here, you you have done these sentences, right? Ustedes crearon estas oraciones. Solo falta identificar cómo van. Double H question word. Aha. Uh -huh. Verb. The verb to be. Subject. Subject. And complement. And an, a, a verb in ing form. Okay, we're going to say verb ing. Okay. Ing and a question mark, right? So since it is a question. Okay, people? So that's what we need to do. Now, over here we have some more examples. So you're going to help me. So what's it doing? Hey, what's it doing, people? What's it doing? It's running. It's running, right? Running. Uh, why is it running? Why? Why is he running, people? Okay, try to get the answer, please. ¿Por qué está corriendo? Hey, why is it? Why is he running? Because 
Because he helps. Because. Because he helps. He. Okay. So why is it running? ¿Por qué está corriendo? A lo mejor está corriendo porque eh, necesita hacer ejercicio. Ah, no sabemos si se robó una, una billetera. Ajá. Um, tiene problemas de salud. Eh, etcétera. Vale, pero entonces allí, fíjense bien qué es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. Eh, aquí se nos abre una puerta muy muy amplia, porque si alguien le preguntase a usted hey, why is it running? ¿Por qué? What time, what time is, it, is it running tomorrow? ¿A qué hora va a salir a correr el mañana? Y empiezan el, 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 un sinnúmero de preguntas que usted eh, le debe de llegar, o sea, oraciones de cómo contestar. Entonces, este... Por eso es bueno que vayamos aprendiendo frases diarias. Frases diarias, verbos diarios. No se les olvide estar en contacto con, con el idioma porque eso les va a ayudar mucho. Now, what is the verb over here? Think. 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 Yeah. What is the sentence in the present continuous? They are singing. They are singing. What yeah. is the question form? Just no question. Why are you singing? Huh? Just no question. Yes, just no question. Are they singing? Are they singing? Okay. Um, Double H question. Why are you singing? Why are, Why are <laughs> they singing? Why are they singing? When are they singing? How long are they singing? Okay. What are they doing? We forgot about it, right? So what, what are they doing? They are singing. Okay. The very is? Like, what is the sentence? Flying. Yeah, but this the complete sentence. It is flying. It is flying. The, flying. the airplane is flying. What is the question? What's the plane doing? Maybe one question, right? It's flying in the sky. It's flying in the sky. Hey, look. Miren cuando tengan verbos así como fly, solo le, no le van a cambiar la Y. Es de una sílaba. Y solo le van a agregar ING. It's flying. It's flying, all right? What's the verb? Walk. walk, walk, walk. What is the sentence? He is walking. He is he's, walking. He or she? I think it's she. a boy, right? So she. he's he's walk. He's walking, right? He's walking. Just no question. Is he walking? Is he walking? What's this man doing? Ah, uh, he's walking. What's his this man doing his walking. What's the verb? Jump. Jump. Okay. What is the what is the ship doing? Jumping. It is jumping, right? Jump. What's the ship doing? It's jumping over the fence. Okay. Next one. Read. That's read. A very read. Read. A student, read. 
Okay, what's the sentence? He's reading. He's reading. Okay, so if it is a just no question, what is the question? Is he ready? Reading. Is he reading? Ah, uh, yes, he is. Hey, is the boy reading? Okay, is he reading? Both are okay. Yes, he is. Where is the verb? Play the guitar. Play. Play. Play, play the guitar. What is the sentence? He's playing the guitar. He's playing the guitar. Question? Is he playing the guitar? A different instrument, right? Is he playing the piano? No, he isn't. He's playing. Is Mr. S uh, is Mr. Singh playing the playing tennis? No, he isn't. He's no, playing he the guitar, right? Okay. He's playing the guitar. Oops, sorry. Misspelling. Okay. Okay. So well, we have different different. Uh, I will share. I will share this PowerPoint presentation because I uh, I still have some some others. Okay, and I don't know if you have any question about this. Any question about double H question? What? Which are the double H question we can we can have? What? When? Why? How long? Um. What else? Which? Where? Where, where, when, what time? So oh. you can create questions uh, with present continuous by using double H question word. That was the main point for tonight. Okay. Now, in order to, we want to try to finish. So that we can work in the groups tonight also. Yeah, so here. Okay, no. I thought you, right? Well, we, we're, we're supposed, to, we're in church of working in this reading, okay? Uh, you, some of you are gonna help me to read. Now, I, I love this activity because it's, it talks about um, the activities that keep the employees happy. Question. Are you happy employees? Yes or no? Are you happy employees? Hello? I hope you yes. are I, I hope yes. you're happy with your job, right? Okay. Hope you're happy with your job because when you are happy with your job, uh you you do your best. Okay? You do your best. And somebody said when you love what you do, you never work. Hay una frase por ahí, tal vez alguien la, la consigue, que dice que cuando uno, cuando uno ama lo que hace, no trabaja ningún día de su, de su vida. ¿Okay? ¿Por qué? Porque uno ama lo que hace. Entonces, yo espero que ustedes también amen, amen lo, que, lo que ustedes hacen en cada una de sus empresas. Ok, primero vamos a leer esto. Todavía tenemos unos minutitos. Y pues solo voy a chequear pronunciación. Ustedes lo resuelven en casa. Eh, porque hay unas preguntas de, de verdadero y, y de falso. Falso y verdadero. Y este, pues nos vamos a la reunión de grupos, ok. Por ahí me solicitaron el día de ayer unos minutitos más. Entonces vamos a trabajar que unos 25 minutos en grupo. Ok. Vale. Chequemos pronunciación. Alguien que me ayude, por favor. One person. Yes. 
Uh, okay, Michael, go ahead. If you work in organized your classes, if you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computer every day, I don't understand understand the impact yoga will have a their attitude and outlook yoga can help alleviate stress and the mind release tension improve brains function and lift mood what both wouldn't one those outcomes Out outcomes okay outcomes. outcomes so let me see there are some some words that that you should that you should well do me the favor to look for pronunciation of certain words such as attitude such as calm release outcomes employees Okay, so tomorrow I will ask you to read it again, but do me the favor to look for every single pronunciation. If you have doubts, just go to the to to any uh, website to to check pronunciation. Let's go over the second one, people. Celebrate birthdays. All right. You don't just have to rely on business game to post moral. Simply acknowledging special occasions can can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sing a car, have cake once a month, or simply by then around. All right, thank you very much. So do me the favor to investigate pronunciation of certain expressions. Okay, this is for everybody. Okay, eso es para todos. Porque el día de mañana estoy chequeando ahorita la pronunciación, algunos ejemplos, ¿verdad? Pero mañana sí voy a, voy a solicitar que todos estén listos con pronunciación. Todos. Okay. Esa palabra es un poquito difícil. Acknowledging. Acknowledging. En el, en el párrafo anterior, donde dice under, under, no sé qué, uh, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Underestimate. Oh, ok. All right. So some examples, right? That you, that you, that I consider you should study. Algunos ejemplos de palabras que yo considero sería eh, estaría muy bien que ustedes que ustedes eh, verificaran. Now number three. Ah, oh, well, of course, each time someone is in your team has a birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so is there anybody else? wants to help me with people people volunteers hey, paintball thank you. thank you uh give your employees an uh, opportunity to let uh some steam by organize organizing a day of paintball simply getting of of the office can work wonders for that uh morally uh watch out thought as the boss you are going to be a prime target okay just a few words right so let off watch out though target all right so but if you if you steam all right 
do me the favor to go uh, uh, over over the lecture uh, deeply and analyze everything there. In the last one, thank you very much. And the last one, guess who? Guess, guess who? who? Okay. Ask everyone to write a childhood photos of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guess, guesses forward on each one it's a bit of easy lights hairstyle found that will def definitely her leaf street while offering planting of honor along the way. Okay, so expressions such a uh, word such as childhood, themselves, their uh, hearted, definitely Hearted. help and plenty. Okay, so try to try to study it deeply. Okay, so we we check we checked pronunciation. Okay, so you will read it in detail and then you will answer later. Okay, not to, I mean not right now. You can do it tomorrow, right? You can you can you, you are going to circle, you're going to underline the correct uh, as, answer, right? Yoga has an important effect on employees, true or false, will you decide it later? So we're gonna stop over here. Nos vamos a detener acá, vamos a crear los dos grupos, ¿les parece? Ok. Ok. Manos a la... A la manos a la hora. No se preocupen que yo voy a verificar los grupos por acá. Si me toca mover a alguien, pues lo, lo voy a hacer. A modo que los grupos siempre queden como, como estuvieron trabajando ayer. So here we go.
Hello, hello, Daniel. One question. Hola, hello. Hello. Uh, Maria Elba belongs to this group, right? Yes, Maria Elba. Okay, so I'm sorry. Entonces, ¿cómo, cómo, ¿cómo quedaría el documento? Y la mujer... Lo que mandaron, creo que... Tú mandaste algo ahora, ¿verdad? La muchacha que dio la idea, quizás hizo doble turno Mar hoy. Maribel mandó un, un, algo ayer. Mm. Pero es muy largo porque se supone que como cada uno tiene que aportar algo, un poquito, porque si todos hacemos esa lista, no, que no va a hacer mucho. No, pues sí está bien, pero de ahí vamos ah. a sacar, bueno, ella va a, va a sacar lo, lo que ella lo más va importante. A decir. Uh -huh. Ah, lo más importante. Porque al final imagino yo pero, que, que... Pero ¿quién, va, quién lo va a editar en un en un documento. Y ahí no, 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 no se sabe aún porque son, bueno, en mi caso no, no puedo porque lo, lo hago en teléfono. Ajá. Pues sí, porque lo bueno sería editarlo y después repartir lo que va a decir cada quien, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero no sé quién lo va a editar. Alguien que diga yo, <risa> Edgar, <risa> no tiene detalle ahí que le gusta la compu, le gusta escribir. <risa> no, pero igual se puede, se puede mandar el chat, y se, se puede mandar el chat y solo se puede cortar y pegar, así se puede hacer sin tanto estar digitando, ¿verdad? <risa> No, hombre, si ha estado trabajando, entonces el muchacho oh, ahí. Oh, sí, no, no sé, ustedes creen que no, pero él sí trabaja. Horas extra. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Vos, tenés que ir. Es lo mío. Eso es lo que es lo mío. Lo de abajo es de Maribel. Exactamente. Ahí no se ha agregado lo que envió Miguel, ¿verdad? No, no se ha enviado. No, no, hay, no lo ha editado. Está muy feo, ¿qué? <risa> Cada quien escribe a su manera, ¿verdad? Ah, pues. Sí. <risa> no, ya sí lo hice, lo que. Es lo, el poquito de tiempo que me queda, porque en hora de almuerzo me toca. Thank you, Alex. Entonces, ¿quién lo editaría? Adán, ¿no? Adán, dice. No, por así como sí. está, está bien ya. Solo voy a agregar lo demás. Ah, lo de ustedes. Debe de, de, sí, de, de, de ver de Maribel. lo mío. Bueno, lo de Maribel ya está ahí también. Ajá. Lo mío está lo primero, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sería. Solo de, 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 de ir anexando ahí. Como al final. Ajá, y después. Ajá. Como al final quedaron que como que iba a ser como un, una escuelita ¿sí? que iba a llegar el profesor y iba a preguntar ¿Y quién, quién será el teacher ahí. Ahí el que el mayor tiene que ser. Todos los mayores. No, el que sea más. El más mayor. Ajá, el que sea más clásico ahí. Estoy sin foto todavía. Está bien, está bien. Uh -huh.
No, la idea es este, o sea, ya cuando esté todo el documento es leerlo todo, ¿va? para que al menos tengamos una idea de, de, de todo, pues, y enfocarnos más en, en, el, en el párrafo de nosotros, bueno, de, de cada uno, pues, porque es lo que vamos a ver, nos va a tocar. Oh, pues sí. Uh -huh. Y las demás personas que están no han mandado nada todavía, ¿verdad? No, ya le dije que por qué no lo he mandado. Perdón, que tiene, no, el uno, no, tiene el 1% por ciento la compu. Perdón, es que no, no le había escuchado por esto. Es que cántale, mi señal está, está mal, por eso no es. Cántale, entonces que le queda un por ciento. No, lo que pasa es que ahora me entregaron el equipo otra vez, otro nuevo, entonces ah, tenía que venir a instalarlo y está cargando todavía. Un nuevo. Ok. Sí, pero sí. Hola, buenas noches. Hola, hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estamos? Bien, bien, por aquí, hombre. Ya casi vamos con la tarea. Ya casi, sí. Hicieron ahí sus actividades de las que tenían de compromiso. O las que iban a poner como compromiso de... En eso estoy ahorita yo. Ah. Porque si gustan, entonces las ponen, las pueden poner en el chat. Pero en no el, habría el, ningún el, problema. No, en el chat, en este chat meeting, en el chat de, 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 de Zoom. Porque ahí el mensaje nos cae solo a nosotros como grupo y de ahí las copio yo. Las puedo copiar para pasarlas a, la, a un documento Word. Para reunir todas en una sola. Ah, no, este no. Ya, ya le voy a mandar la, la que yo hice. Ajá, ajá. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. ¿Cómo vamos que hemos avanzado? <risa> bueno, y vamos a reunir hoy todas las actividades que cada quien tenía en el transcurso de la semana. Ajá. Que eran las actividades por las que no podíamos reunirnos en la semana, sino que hasta el sábado. Sí. Eh, para hacer un solo documento, les decía que si gustan me mandan ahí en el, en el chat del grupo. Esto Así yo las copio en un solo documento de Word. Mire, pero tengo, tengo una duda. Uh -huh. Este, Al final, ¿verdad? Que no hemos definido en qué momento nos encontramos y hablamos de cada uno. Porque, o oh, no sé si... si no, todavía no lo es, definimos, es, es cierto. Que hemos he estado pensando de que estamos hablando, de que nos vamos a ver y vamos a salir, pero no a dónde. Hemos, hemos platicado antes. ¿Verdad que eso no lo hemos, no, no hemos definido? No, 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 no lo hemos definido. Solo definimos el día en que nos podíamos reunir, pero no lo, no lo hemos agregado todavía por escrito. Ajá, Yo creo que vaya. quizás al tener, al tener todas las, cada quien iba a poner como actividades, ahí tendríamos que ver cómo armamos la conversación para ir, ir viendo en qué lugar y, y, y qué día es que nos vamos a reunir. Ah, okay. Si gusta le puede echar un ojo al, al mío. Ahorita veamos... Ajá, porque sabe que yo he estado pensando de que por lo menos eh, en el momento de que supuestamente nos queremos reunir y hablamos y todo, este, cómo proponer otras cosas, ¿va? por ejemplo, ir un viernes de fiesta a bailar o, o 
a comer algo y al final pues la decisión sería como, ah, pues pero no podemos la mayoría, entonces hagamos algo familiar y ya quedamos que salimos el día sábado. Ok, tendríamos que poner entonces, acabar como una conversación donde cada uno dice... Ajá, lo, lo, lo principal. O sea, yo digo, yo quiero ir a tal parte, usted quiere ir a otro lado, el otro por quiere ejemplo, ir a otro ajá, lado. Por ejemplo, que, vaya, de, de, que digamos, vaya, bueno, y entonces, o no sé si se fuera como una llamada la que estemos realizando, o sea, dar como tonos de llamada o hacer una videollamada para grupal y, y pues eh, tratar de, de conversar y decir, bueno, este, entonces pongamos fecha, cuando vamos a reunirnos, tenemos tiempo sin vernos, de convivir, ya hace falta una salida y entonces alguien que pregunte qué proponen o, o, o veamos qué podemos hacer y alguien que diga, bueno, vamos a comer no sé, a comer alitas, por ejemplo, otros, no, vamos a comer pizza, o y oye, bueno, ¿qué tal si vamos por, un ejemplo, unas cervezas y, y a bailar? Y a Miro. bailar. Que, que alguien diga eso, ¿verdad? no, vamos por unas cervezas y a bailar, ¿verdad? que no falta ah. siempre el que quiera más diversión. El que quiera ir y, de fiesta. ¿verdad? Ajá, entonces, y en ese momento empezamos todos a decir, no, yo en la semana no puedo, o puedo yo tal día, eh, pero al final de todo, después de que todos hablemos, este, decir, bueno, entonces quedémonos de acuerdo y vamos, hagamos algo familiar sí. para que eh, nadie eh. tenga excusa de no poder ir con su familia ahí. y vamos al zoológico. Ahí, ahí teníamos que, ahí, ahí tendríamos que, tiene uno que empezar la conversación y decir, amigos, los invito a tal lugar y ahí empezamos a armar ya la conversación y cada quien tiene que ir, este, como hablando su parte, que tal día y los juntamos ahí. No sé, pues. Ajá. Ajá, pero no sé si les parece así más o menos la idea que les estoy dando. Ajá, sí, así como la idea que usted tiene, ajá, pero ajá, solo uno empezaría y iríamos ya cada quien. Así la ajá. idea que usted tiene. Es que sí, sí, sería como, pero sí, yo digo que sería como en llamadas. Sí, ajá. Simular un... Cada vez donde no, donde no hemos equivocado y tal vez el, el, el que... En que se fija en el error, pues trata de, 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 de corregirlo ahí. Uh -huh. ¿Y de qué tendríamos que hacer? Buenas noches, estimados. Disculpe ahí, ahorita vengo llegando a casa. ¿Eh? No problema, no problema nada. Por lo que comentaba respecto a, me parece la idea esa, porque todos podemos participar. Eh, podría ser Berenice como la teacher, no sé, ¿verdad? Ella le fluye bastante, tiene bastante conocimiento de inglés. Y que ya venía, va, ya venía con el acento. Sí. Entonces, <risa> cada quien va exponiendo, eh, bueno, va a exponer lo que es presente simple, ¿verdad? Presente simple, continuo, pero ya más personalizado, es decir, cada quien se presentaría, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. es, como el, es como el primer día de clases, por decirlo así, que tiene que exponer eh, quién, quién es, ¿verdad? De presentarse, eh, cuáles son los planes a futuro, qué es lo que piensa hacer el fin de semana, cuestiones así. Uh -huh. Ya con el sonido de lo que mencionaba el teacher, era como un valor agregado, ¿verdad? Pero en sí el Aquí el punto es, más que todo, la expresión en, en inglés. Expresión, fluidez y gramática. Sí, correcto. Ajá. Por eso es de que, o sea, ya cuando esté finalizado el documento, tratar de, o sea, como se va a enviar al grupo, tratar de leerlo lo más que se pueda para ver dónde se, lo haga, se le va a dar la expresión, para que no se escuche leído. Correcto. Ajá. Sí, no sé si las demás niñas, eh, bueno, creo que una solamente está de oyente, no sé si alguna de las demás quisiera aportar alguna idea o tiene algo que ella quiera compartir. 
Hola. ¿Sí? Hola, buenas noches a todos. Claudia Torre les saluda. Por lo que he estado escuchando, al final eh, la idea que yo les había mencionado es la que se va a estar haciendo más enfocado a lo que tú me les había dicho. De que podía, no se me había ocurrido lo del teacher, ¿verdad? pero ya decidieron y he estado ahí escuchando que Berenice le haría como desarrollar el papel de teacher. <ríe> es una teacher millennial. Ok, pero eh, yo creo que sí vamos a tener que hacer el documento para pasarlo, pero yo creo que en lugar de, de como poner un trabajo que lo haga uno solo, mejor cada quien hace su párrafo y cuando Berenice diga, eh, escuchemos al compañero o la compañera y el nombre ya uno habla o se presenta el diálogo que uno ha, ha preparado. Sí, eso sí es importante y otra cosa bueno, al menos el teacher habló de que si se podría hacer un documento físico cuando recuerden que como estamos haciendo un trabajo grupal para que quede también como una evidencia en plataforma porque es algo que hemos estado trabajando este tiempo que el teacher nos está dando entonces siento yo que más que todo ha sido por eso lo del documento no porque cada quien se vaya a perder con lo que tiene que decir no, cada no, quien ya no, tiene... no, no, claro Claro, ¿verdad? Pero eh, yo decía en el, en el hecho de que uno prepara lo que va a hablar cuando usted nos, de el, la, nos llegue o nos pide que nos presentemos o que expongamos nuestro párrafo y lo, y lo, lo hacemos, pues porque eh, estamos más enfocados a lo que nosotros diríamos, aunque unamos todo el, todo el diálogo en un solo documento. Sí, de igual forma, como también hablamos, hay que verificar lo que es la gramática, si alguien, si hay alguna parte en la que se le pueda ayudar o alguna cosa que se pueda mejorar, no corregir. Eso, o sea, uh -huh, se puede también mejor. dar el como, o sea, la ayuda, pues. Eh, eh, quizás en ese aspecto sí siento yo que nos ayudaría un poco a reforzar eso con el documento, porque cualquiera le puede dar una leída y pues si ve que de alguna otra forma alguna palabra o alguna cosa en gramática no tenga quizás una concordancia al hablarlo, siento yo que es, es una de las partes importantes también el por qué se está haciendo el documento. Uh, ok, y ese documento que está en pantalla ahí ahorita lo han puesto en el grupo de WhatsApp, porque ese está en Word y ese sí se puede bajar uno y trabajarlo, modificarlo. No, ese ahorita solamente lo tiene ah, no, Edgar, ¿verdad? Lo puedo, ¿No me lo equivoco? Puedo, eh, es lo como un machote de cómo ah, que vamos. Solamente de lo que la, los que hemos enviado, bueno, los que han, perdón, no me incluyo, los que ya mandaron <risa> la información, eh, solamente lo han ingresado en el documento, no es que esté ordenado ahorita, solamente lo han mandado y está ahí para que lo tengamos visible. Creería que ah, a okay. de eso podemos cada quien empezar a trabajar un pequeño parrocito ahí bien bien estructuradito y bien dinámico y, y lo vamos agregando cuando tengamos, mándenlo y yo lo voy agregando el, al documento y luego se lo reenvío cuando ya tenga por lo menos unos cinco para que vayamos viendo cuánto, cómo se vamos a ir trabajando. Claro, también hay que definir allí que, que, en que cuánto tiempo nos va a dar y, y... Ok, ok Hello, hello everyone. Hello, hello. I'm sorry, but you know, time's over, right? I know that you were like very concentrated, but I need to check the list attendance, okay? Uh, I will check list attendance, and in case you have any questions, just let me know it, okay? No, se tal vez manda los PDF que hemos estado viendo, por Okay, Michael, I will do it. I know that that you like to get the the, the, the PowerPoint presentation. It's all right. Okay, now Aidan, so here, right? Present. Yeah, Belen. Present. Okay, Claudia. Present teacher. Daniel. Present teacher. Uh, Maribel. Edgar. Gladys. Jonathan. Hey, do, do you listen to me, people? 
No worry, here's. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I thought I was, I was talking, I was speaking alone over here. No, but is Jonathan there? Jonathan? Maria Elba? Mario Cristobal? Mm -hmm. Ana Mario is there, right? Berenice? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Uh, Michael? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Aníbal? Present, teacher. Okay. Norma Xiomara? Mando en el chat. Okay, thank you. Oscar Antonio? Here. Okay, Ronan? Present, teacher. Present. Hey, I didn't listen to Ronan during the two hours. <laughs> Teresa? <laughs> and Vera Liz? Present, teacher. Fíjense que yo casi estoy seguro que no escuchamos a Ronan en las dos horas. Eso quiere, hola, decir, hola. Eso quiere decir que mañana le vamos a preguntar más. No se preocupe, Ronan. <risa> <risa> no, miren, este, el, el objetivo de ponerlos a trabajar en grupos es justamente eso, que eh, siempre que trabajamos este, es como un reto que se nos... Se nos que el teacher dice, miren, aquí está este reto. La reunión. Aquí está este reto. Perdón, Mario. Ok. Aquí está este reto. Este, sé que implica un poquito de tiempo fuera de la sesión, pero es como una manera de, de, de engancharlos a ustedes al idioma y que no se les olvide el inglés durante el día, porque yo sé que ustedes este, trabajan mucho son personas, pues, que prácticamente no tienen mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero de alguna manera, pues, estamos como en una, en una lucha en donde el teacher quiere que ustedes este, estén más conectados en el idioma y ustedes, pues, claro, lo más importante es que se desenvuelvan lo mejor posible en sus trabajos. Entonces, es, es un poquito difícil, ¿verdad? Pero miren que como los quiere Dios que el viernes no vamos a tener clase. <risa> Ahí voy a tener suficiente, suficiente tiempo para, para dejar eso este, muy, muy bien. Yo ya vi adelantos, ya veo que ya tienen ideas claras, ya tienen algo preelaborado, solo lo deben de ir afinando. ¿Claudia? <risa> ah, ok, Claudia. Es por el día viernes, entiendo. <risa> Este, mañana tenemos clase. Este, por favor, sigamos practicando pronunciación. Llevan dos ejercicios de pronunciación. ¿Cuál es el primero? ¿Quién se recuerda? Es el enlace que les compartí al inicio de la perfect clase. Schedule. Sí, es una es the perfect schedule. Esa, esa es la primera. Está largo. Sí, pero es, es justamente eso es lo que yo buscaba, que mientras más larga la conversación, más práctica vamos a tener. Y ya está en el, en el WhatsApp, teacher. Sí, se los compartí que en el grupo, en el WhatsApp, ya voy a verificar, no me recuerdo. Sí, si no lo he hecho, lo voy a hacer este, después que cer cerremos la sesión. Gracias. Y lo otro es la, la, las lecturas que leímos al final, ¿ok? vayamos este, reafirmando las palabras, la pronunciación que vemos en cada clase. Es sumamente importante porque así se van a notar los avances en los niveles próximos. ¿Okay? Ah, no sé si hay pregunta, algún, alguien que quiera decir algo. Jonathan no lo escuché tampoco, mañana le pregunto más. Ahora, Jonathan estaba de listener, creo que estaba de listener ahora. Bueno, mañana... Sí, no... Ahí puso un mensaje. Ah, sí, estaba de listener. Teacher, eh, el enlace sí no lo ha mandado al grupo. Bueno, al menos oh. yo no lo veo. Ok, era... Hace favor. Con gusto. Solo gracias, gracias. Este, decirles que ya verifiqué este, la, las actividades del midterm. Hay, hay, está una persona que solo tiene el 50%, hay dos personas que tienen el 75% y ya de ahí todos tienen el 100%. ¿Ok? Ya cada quien sabrá cómo tiene el puntaje. Yo es lo que les recomiendo es que si tiene el 50%, que, 
que lo vuelvan a realizar, ¿verdad? Mientras más alto sea su puntaje, mejor. ¿Ok? Claudia, no sé si quería decirnos algo antes de cerrar. No. Okay, so, so have a, a good night and let us mm, see tomorrow, people. God bless good you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.